Hello students, welcome to EVS class of Standard 5. In this session, you will be learning about the interesting topic, Living World. This lesson speaks about environmental studies, lazy somana, classification of things and the characteristics of the living things. Environment Environmental study means getting to know about the surroundings. The things that we see around us is called as environment. We see bird, butterfly, cat, tree, insect, river, lake, etc. Now let's move on to the concept with a story. This story speaks about a lazy person whose name is Somana. Somana is a lazy person. Even though he had a piece of a land, he never worked for a single day in his land. He used to live by receiving what others gave him. He is fond of eating groundnuts, especially fried groundnuts. Once, while having the fried groundnuts, he got an idea of sowing the seeds into his land so that he need not beg for the food from anyone else. Also, he thought if he directly sowed the fried groundnuts into this land, then he would yield the same as what he did. Without knowing what kind of seed to be sown in the land, he started working on his land from the very next day. By seeing Somana working in his land, the neighboring land farmers were very happy that finally Somana has shed his laziness. Days passed, plants grew and greenery was seen everywhere. But there was no single plant in Somana's land. Students, there is a brain teaser for you. Why roasted seeds cannot be used for sowing on the land? Okay, I'll explain you. The raw ingredient has the characteristics of living component where it can produce a new plant. Whereas in the fried ground net, the living component is destroyed and it has become a non-living thing. The living thing has the characteristics of a living being and a non-living thing has the characteristics of non-living being. Based on what we have learned so far, we will be doing an activity. The living being has the following characteristics like growth, eating food, movement, respiration, excretion, respond to stimuli, reproduction. So students, pause the video, take a notebook, make a table and fill the components and environment according to the characteristics mouse does it grow yes does it eat food yes does it move from one place to another place yes does it respire yes does it excrete yes does it respond to stimuli yes does it reproduce yes Mango, does it grow? Yes. Does it eat food? No. Does mango move from one place to another place? No. Does it respire? No. Does it excrete? No. Does it respond to stimuli? Yes. Does it reproduce? Yes. Brick, brick is a non-living thing. So, it doesn't come under any characteristics of the living being. Clock. Clock is also the same as brick. Take your note and fill the rest of the components of environment according to their characteristics. The second activity is also the same as the previous one. Here, there are some components of the environment are given, such as living, 
and non-living thing. If it is of a living thing, put a tick mark over there. And if it is of a non-living thing, put a tick mark according to the non-living thing character. So, first one is bird. Is it a living thing? Yes. Balloon. It is not a living thing. So, put a tick mark in non-living thing. Water. It is a non-living thing. Mango tree. It is a living thing. Similarly, vehicle, pen, table comes under the non-living thing. Students, here is an activity for you. Make a list of the living and non-living things that you have seen. Okay students, let's move on to the next thing, characteristics of living things. We will be learning in detail about the characteristics of the living being such as living beings are made up of cell, living being respire, living being eat food. First characteristic, living being are made up of cell. You must have seen how the house is being constructed. Like several things such as brick, cement, water, steel, wood are arranged in an order to get house ready. Similarly, the body of human being is also made up of cell. A cell is the basic unit of all living organism. Living beings are made up of cell like human animal and plant also has the cell constructed in it living beings respire living organism respire during the respiration living being take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide like human being plant also respire the respiratory system of animal vary from one animal to the other animal. Here I have shown you the dog's respiratory system and also the human respiratory system. Plants also respire but plants have respire through the small pores which are present under the leaves which is called as stomata. Next comes living beings eat. Living organism need food to get energy to do work. Living being perform activity like wood, cutting, carrying goods, hunting etc. To perform all these activities the living being need energy. So food gives energy to perform all these tasks. Here are some animals given in the table we are going to find how does it help us elephant elephant helps in tourism management like elephant safari also it carries the goods like wood bullock it helps in the transportation of goods dog tracking and hunting students so far you have learned about living being, non-living being, the characteristics of living being and whether a living being need food or not. Also you have learned how animals help us to do the work. So students, the activity given in description, make a note of it and do it in your classwork. Until we meet in next class, Stay safe, stay home and enjoy learning.